All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching My Hero Academia season four, episode eight. Uh, I'm actually getting the uh, the episode out on the day today, on Saturday. So um, yeah, that's a pretty big deal for me. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get straight right into the episode this week that we could talk about you know, last week in the preview uh, opening. Yeah. You know? Um. So yeah, let's get right into the episode because I'm excited to watch it. Move this a bit closer. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel you, bro. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Some kids are born well with. Man. <clears throat> No, you're not. Everybody's different, bro. Oh. Oh, we right into it now, boy. So cool, man. All right. So this episode, man. Oh my god, it's gonna be so good. As like I said in the last episode, it's gonna be just like a. This is where it just kind of blows up, man. This arc, these next four or five episodes, it's gonna be crazy. I swear, maybe less. I don't know, three, four episodes, maybe. But uh, yeah. So in the last episode, we had we had them looking for the the proper hideout, and then uh, we end up getting Night Eye who found the person who was actually it could actually lead them to the hideout where areas and they realize you know it's their actual home base go figure um we get there with the police and everyone's like 8 30 a.m or something like that um <clears throat> and yeah they're like all right we need to show them the warrant first <laughs> we need to show them the warrant otherwise we can't enter the premises as soon as we do we can enter next thing is ringing the door but on the big gigantic guy gi blast through the door Oh, that was pretty you know, awesome. Like, um, just got to see the Dragon Woman's quirk as well. That was pretty sweet. And um, yeah, now we're gonna we're getting straight into the episode. They're about to head into the hideout. So, what are we gonna see this episode? We're gonna see some fights, most likely. Obviously, I'm just very excited for it. It's gonna be fucking nope, man. Fk. She's still fighting with this dude. Oh, Nedry's out here. Oh, they're all out. Oh, the the girls are out here. Okay. Yeah. Excuse us for not taking off our shoes. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, they haven't done anything suspicious yet, so they have to really get in here and find some evidence or something. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yep. Nope. Ain't Mally at all. Mm-hmm. 
Damn. Probably like code. I suppose. Whoa. Sensibly, dude. Damn. What the hell? What the qu what's her quirk? That's cool. I was wondering how clothes would work. No way. It's like, um, damn, what do they, in the, like, well, like, the metal they use in Wakanda to, like, they put it into their clothes and everything. How does he have that much hair, though, they put into his, uh, suit? Damn. That must be, like, an expensive suit to make, though. Yeah, the hard boys. <laughs> oh, what is this freak squirk? What the hell? What's an actual person? What the hell? What the hell? Whoa. This is making me dizzy, what the hell? Mimic. Let's go into our control and freely from it. Whoa. Ugh. This is actually making me dizzy, my god. Hmm. Yeah. Snap out of it, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, bro. Do your best, bro. <clears throat> so the fact that we he's already explained his quirk, and he has to, whoa, he has to switch off certain body parts and switch on as he walks through a wall. How much more difficult this was has to be considered on the wall is also ch changing shape for him to do that. That is crazy. He's so good with his quirk. Oh, it's like Scarecrow. Sonny has got this. Oh, so cool, man. Lemillion's a beast. He is number two, I assume, in uh, UA, so, like spotflies. <laughs> so, yeah, he can handle it himself. Or maybe he's number three, I don't know. It's 
It's going to be interesting to see these villains quirk, especially that they're boosted. Hmm. That's cool. Or is that a black? Yeah, they've got actual guns. Come on, bro. You just got a race of quirk eraser guns. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he trusts him. Let's go. What is he? He has like a tricky quirk. That's why Eraserhead keeps getting his quirk. What the hell did he just do? Deku, he's got this. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. He's got this. No. Oh. He's got this. Yeah. Hmm. You need to knock him out. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Law can see. Let's remove anything his opponent is wearing to his own hand instantly. What? No way. Mm hmm. Oh, fuck. That must have hurt like a bitch. Oh. God, people's quirks start off so small and they have to train them so much. For them to become how great they are now. <laughs> 
Probably. God, these teachers are fucking stupid, man. Yeah. God, they don't know the, the abilities of his quirk. Got to keep moving on. He knows he's going to get it eventually, which he does, obviously. They both like they both support each other, they both look up to each other. Yeah, you are. But Mary, you are great, bro. What's it going to do? Get pure muscle to absorb the shock. That's sick. So you can combine animal parts. Oh, look at him, bro. Can't wait to see this. Oh, he can turn his face. That. That's amazing. Holy shit. What? What is that quirk? Ew. That's fucking weird. Hmm. He looks so fucking badass right now. Ah, uh, ah! Uh. Damn, this is a good matchup. Ugh. Mm. What the? Oh, fuck. He's going to take a bite out of his arm. Oh, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Oh, God, thank God. He doesn't, like, eat humans, apparently. <laughs> Not something to brag about, bro. <laughs> He's like an expert thief, that guy. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, even his eyes turn into gems. What the hell? Hmm. 
Mm. Yeah. So many different perceptions of like people's reality in the show from the villains to the heroes. It's interesting. Oh. Oh. Oh, he ate one of his crystals. No way. I didn't know he can eat things that weren't food. That's sick. His leg's massive. What the hell? Holy shit. You should keep, you should keep some of that guy's crystal, man. That's sick. That was awesome. You can't eat your friends. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, that was a good episode. That was a good fight for Tamaki. Whew. All right, let's, uh, let's see the preview. Let's see if there's anything at the end, actually. I don't think there is. I think it's just the preview. But let's get to it. Let's get to this preview. Make sure I'm back on the spell for us. Ooh. Ooh. Got a curation around Fakum fight. Fuck yeah. Come on. It's gonna be a manly fight. <laughs> Loving the Kir Kir Kirishima love right now. So yeah guys, that was episode eight. My was it episode eight? God, I'm so bad to remember episode uh, numbers. What a great episode. That was a good episode for Tamaki. I like uh, the not just the main characters, the more the important side characters get, you know, their time in the spotlight as well. That's what I like about my hero. It's animes like Doctor Stone as well. It's just really fun and it makes it so you don't always just have to favour the main character. Which you know, people obviously people love Deku, but seeing other characters with more interesting quirks and how they fight just makes for a good show you know and, um yeah it's gonna be nice to see it's i think there's gonna there is gonna be a lot of that in this arc like all the characters certain characters getting their own um time to do what they do you know and to be shown off to the audience that's really awesome next episode should be cool a very manly red red riot and fat on fight. Um, see more into the backstory of Kirishima, like he showed in the red riot episode, but they didn't actually dive into it yet. So um, yeah, very excited for that. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I hope you have a, uh, guys have the. Ugh. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, and peace out.